let's see how easy it is to deploy a database on Portworx Data Services. I'll pick Postgres from the list of services offered by PDS. I'll then fill out a form with my deployment options. I'll start by selecting the version of Postgres I want to deploy, and then I'll give the deployment a name. I'll choose my Kubernetes cluster target along with my desired namespace. Then I can optionally deploy an external load balancer for my database if I so choose. I'll choose the default application configuration for Postgres, and then move on to selecting a size for my database instance. Then I can pick the number of nodes in my database cluster. In this case, I'll just use one node. Under storage options, I can modify things like our data replication factor. I'll choose an option with two replicas here. Lastly, I can select a backup schedule so that my database gets backed up on a regular cadence, and then select the backup target, which is where I want the backups to be stored. Finally, I click Deploy. While the deployment is going on, you'll notice that you can see some events happening on our cluster while the database is being deployed. Since the deployments are containerized and we don't have any data in them yet, the deployment times should be pretty quick, so we should have a new database up and running here in just a minute. And now, after a few moments, our containerized database application is now up and running. As a PDS user, I would then grab the connection information from the UI, complete with endpoints, usernames, passwords, and I can pass those to my application. If I want to take an ad hoc backup, I can select backups from the menu and then select my backup target before clicking the backup button. This backup should also be pretty quick since there isn't any data in our database yet, but we'll give it a short moment to complete this backup task. If we would like to scale our database instance to use multiple streaming replicas, we can just edit the deployment and change the number of nodes to two. PDS will recognize this change and begin to deploy a second streaming replica to our Postgres deployment. We can see that another deployment has been kicked off and it will eventually show two nodes are available to be used by our applications. It's also worth noting here that deploying these data services can also be completed by using our API. If you need help getting started with our API, you can use our Swagger UI to test out some commands on your own and learn how to build your own API calls. Now, since we chose to deploy an older version of Postgres for this demo, we can click the Update button on the UI to update our Postgres database to the latest version. Databases that have multiple streaming replicas are updated in a rolling fashion so that not all nodes are offline at the same time. And lastly, we can view the metrics for our deployed databases, complete with Kubernetes metrics, Portworx metrics, and application metrics. There you have it. We deployed a Postgres database, backed it up, scaled it out, upgraded it, and viewed metrics in under four minutes. Mm -hmm.